There has been widespread recovery on the Great Barrier Reef over the last few years. After a decade of disturbances, including mass coral bleachings, crown of thorns starfish, and severe tropical cyclones. This year, recovery is paused, with average regional hard coral cover decreasing slightly, but remaining about the same as last year. In 2022, we recorded historic high coral cover on the northern and central regions, with a decrease in the southern region due to ongoing outbreaks of crown of thorns starfish. This year, our long-term monitoring team spent 120 days at sea and surveyed 111 reefs across the Great Barrier Reef. This was our 37th year of surveys. We found some reefs continued to increase in coral cover, which is good news. But other reefs lost coral cover, and this has been enough to offset the gains elsewhere. However, most reefs showed little change. The variability among reefs in each region has resulted in this pause in the widespread increases in coral cover we reported last year. There are a few key causes of coral loss. The 2022 mass coral bleaching event was the fourth to occur since 2016, and the first time it's occurred in a typically cooler La Nina year. Despite the fact that it was less severe than the 2016-2017 event, the 2022 mass coral bleaching event caused coral to decline on some reefs. Coral bleaching isn't always a death sentence for corals, but for those that survive, they can have reduced growth and reproduction in the longer term. And it's these longer term effects that have likely contributed to the pause in recent increases in hard coral cover. Crown of thorn starfish outbreaks continue in the Southern Great Barrier Reef, the only region which had declines in hard coral cover last year. Outbreaks weren't recorded on the Northern or Central Great Barrier Reef, but low numbers were still recorded in the North and this contributed to some coral loss. There were notable levels of coral disease in the Capricorn bunkers in the Southern Great Barrier Reef, and this also contributed to coral loss. Conditions were relatively mild over the summer of 2023. While the Great Barrier Reef recorded record high spring temperatures, an active monsoon trough kept conditions mild over the summer, and we recorded only low levels of bleaching. No tropical cyclones entered the marine park this summer. Branching and table corals have been responsible for much of the recovery in recent years. They are known as a cropper and are one of the most abundant corals on the Great Barrier Reef. They're fast growing, but also susceptible to disturbances. It's these attributes that power the changes in hard coral cover after disturbances and during recovery. They're not the only ones though. Other types of coral also contribute. Our 2023 surveys have shown that even mass coral bleaching events not considered to be severe are enough to cause a pause in regional increases in hard coral cover especially when coupled with other pressures faced by the Great Barrier Reef. Climate change is the greatest threat to the Great Barrier Reef. Marine heat waves, for example, are becoming more frequent and more severe, and even occurring during the supposedly cooler La Nina years. A reoccurrence of another event like the 2016 or 2017 event could not only pause, but quickly reverse increases in hard coral cover we have seen in recent years. Our long-term monitoring team will be jumping back into the water next month and will continue to monitor hard coral cover as well as the finer details of reef communities to better understand how this amazing iconic ecosystem is faring into the future.